Say you looking for the best? Boss talk. We ain't worried about the rest? Boss talk. Tell me who's hot, who's not? Who really on top? Who got they on shop? The hustle don't stop. He check it, check it, check it. This is a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Mr. Maker. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad walk on. Man, hold up, man. Guess what, man? We down here in New Orleans, man. It's going down, man. I got my guy here, man. This guy, he really don't need no introduction if y'all watching and listening to what's going on in them waves of the internet, man. J Merck is in the building. Ah, you know what's up, Jay Merck. Yeah, real nigga. I'm saying, yeah. man, we down here in New Orleans again. This is our second time, man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. For mm. real, for real, man. Because yeah. the real ones stand up, the, the 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 fake one move back. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to tell them, you know. They know. <laughs> man, so I know, I, you know, uh, Mr. Jamaica always uh, uh, start off by just trying to get to know you a little better. What's going on? Yeah, okay. we'd like to know. So you're born and raised in New Orleans. Yeah, born and raised in New Orleans. What what part of New Orleans? In front of Seven Wall, the Saint Bernard Project. You hear me? Okay, what was it like? I mean, it was treacherous. You know. We said treacherous. How? I mean, for as like for as the the whole little uh, environment of just a lot of shit that niggas seen in a project. You hear me? Give me an example for a person who have never really seen a project or they they living through you. Tell us, like, give us some examples. For I mean, it's it's poverty. Okay. Yeah, I mean, low income, low income housing. That's how it used to be, you know, before Hurricane Katrina and mm -hmm. shit. You hear me? So that's like it's it's like really like a, a, a fucking hood. There's no way to explain it. It's just I feel like every hood in New Orleans the same. You hear me? Okay. I ain't so, yeah. Okay, so um, brothers and sisters, where is it your mom and dad? Yeah, I, you know my mom, you know my dad, my real daddy did. You hear me? And so, how old were you when he passed away? I had to be about what about eight. Eight. Yeah, so you well, remember him? Yeah, I remember him. Oh, okay, you remember some good times with him? I mean, I once, yeah, I could say some good times, you remember? And I could say some fucked up times <laughs> too, you <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how, did it affect you when he passed away? I mean, in a way it did because, you know, like every 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 boy won't grow up with their father, you mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it kind of affected me. But as I got older, you know, like I say, my stepdad, you know, my mom, husband was always there. So I, I looked at him as my daddy. You so know? you already had a, you end up having a positive role, male role model in right, your life. Right, you can okay. say that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because some people, because of, you know, the lack of that fatherhood, they end up turning to the streets and stuff like that. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that. It's just, you know, fuck, as a boy growing up in New Orleans, you, you kind of, I'm saying, it's either they going to, it just be so much you be around, you mm -hmm. know? So to where like me, far as me growing up, I was just around so much shit, you know? Mm -hmm. So where I had opportunities to do different, but I felt like this was the easiest thing to do, you know? Because it's, it's right here. Everything else, you got to work for that shit, you know? And you didn't want to work for it. I mean, I wanted to work for it, but at the time, you know, I was young. I want shit now, now. you know? <laughs> yeah, See, Do you have any kids now? No. Not yet? Uh-uh. See, but being a parent... And I hear these stories so much, you know, I always wonder, um, you know, you don't want your kids to be on the street. You don't want your kids selling dope. You don't want your kids, you know, doing all of that stuff. Right. And you be wondering the math to make sure that your child don't, because I know some parents who be there for their children, but because of living in poverty um, stricken areas, they got to work two, three jobs. So they can't be there to watch them all the time. Right. So some of them kids end up being on the streets with mama not at home. But as soon as mama come home, they, they're acting like they didn't do none. But, you know, it's like, how can you as a parent keep your kids out of trouble and not be, you know, stricken to the streets? I mean... It's really about the, the, the school and the guardians, you know? The teaching in the inside the house, really, mm -hmm. you know? Like, like a, a lot of parents, and this this is just my opinion, this is just some shit that I didn't see, you know? A lot of parents, they feel like, I'd rather be my child's friend, you know? Instead of being a parent, you know? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if I be your parent, I'm on your ass, you gonna be on something and I'm just fucking over you just to be doing it or I just hate you or whatever, but the whole time I'm showing you tough love, you know what okay. I'm saying? So yeah. if you just be their friend, fuck, you can do whatever you want. I ain't doing no tripping. Long as, you know, you letting me do whatever, I'm happy with you being my mom or dad or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that's, 
that's the way I look at it. Yeah, because when people tell me, oh, it's because of the environment or because my mama wasn't there, because I've met people who was same situation, but because they didn't want to be that statistic, they strive to be better and ended up being better than that. I mean, see, you know, like like I said, my mom and my dad, it was there, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's just, nigga ain't had it, yeah? So the shit that a nigga wanted, that, you know, a nigga feel like I want this, I need this, I see this, I see that, you know, they ain't had no way to get that, yeah? My mm -hmm. mama, you know, they ain't had no money like that. We were struggling. Right. So I'm like, fuck it. Once I, you know, graduated middle school, I'm going into high school. I'm like, man, I got to get it. I ain't about to be fucked over no sand pair shoes for the whole school year, you yeah. <laughs> So you telling me you, you, you graduated? No, I ain't graduated. I went to jail my junior year. Your junior year? Yeah. But, but just, I, I want to get into that because that, that's a lot of uh, the essence of kind of who you are and kind of why things, you know, transpired the way they have. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, um, because really, your, your, your situation was kind of snatched away. You know what I'm saying? And, and we got to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like man, to be in 11th grade, let me know what really happened, what really went down. You know what I'm saying? For us to even get you in that situation. Well... <clears throat> You know, like I said, man, me and, me and my partner, you know, we, you know, we, we went on the lick, you know? Ooh, excuse me. We went on the lick, whatever, you know, man. You know, like I said, long story short, the shit, the, the, the shit went bad, you know? The shit went bad, it turned into a shootout. And, you know, my partner wound up dying from one of the bullets ricocheting, you know? Wow. Mm -hmm. So... After that, I went to jail. Like a week later, they charged me with everything. You know? So they they charged you with it. Everything. Done. And that was your first time. What? Being in prison. Being in trouble. Being in trouble. No, that was my first time. Because that, that, that was my that was my second time going to jail. Going you know? to jail. Yeah. How old was the first time going to jail? I was thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. And you were fifteen this time. Yeah. Okay. So when you when you when when, when, how did it, like, like I, I guess in the detail, so, like, when you get called out of school, or did they catch you that day? I ain't even, like, I, it's this, this shit, I went to school that Friday, like, this shit happened on a Friday, you know? so I went to jail, like, that week later, Friday morning, like, So I, you went to school? Yeah, I went to school, you know? I go Was to you school. nervous? No, not at all, you know, fuck, I was like, fuck, I'm straight, you know? Because he didn't do nothing. You know, right. Pretty much, yeah, man. <laughs> so I go to school, whatever. I mean, I walk in that bitch, you know, everybody looking at me is all eyes on me. You know, they like, man, he the talk of the school right now because, you know, the situation that took place, yeah, they saying he did that, he the one killed the boy and all this and that shit, yeah. So I'm blocking all that shit out. I go to the, um, I go to the office. Like, you know, the, I guess the principal was, he was from out the hood or something, so... Him and my mom and my daddy all them was familiar with each other and shit, you hear me? So, mm -hmm. like, right when my mom on them first signed us up for school, my mom was telling, you know, telling the principal, like, look, you know, I got a junior and a freshman, you hear me? Like, man, both of them good, good students, honorable students, you just gonna have, you know, problems out this one, because, you know, this the one, this the problem, you hear me? So, I'm like, man, you know, it really ain't no problem with me, you know, fuck, just don't be thinking you're gonna be handling me. We gonna, we gonna get this shit understood now, you hear me? And my mama had a habit with all that. Look, you know, y'all see him doing anything wrong. You chastise him and bust his ass. You got me fucked up. We ain't about to do all that, you hear me? Now, if I'm doing something wrong, you tell me what I'm doing wrong, then I'm going to go home and put your hands on me. So how did, how did the police approach you to even get you locked? See, they was, they was in a school. Oh, so they was at the school. I never even knew, though. Like, once I, I went in the principal office and, um, you know, like I said, you were familiar with my mom and them, you hear me? So I'm sitting in there and shit. And he was just like, man, he like, man, where you was at? I'm like, man, I went to the hospital. You know, I had, you know, I had a cast on my hand, you hear me? So, um, he like, what happened? I'm like, man, you know, I had a fight, whatever. He like, why you ain't drive to school? I'm like, man, I had no gas in the car, you hear me? Like, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck he asked me all these crazy ass questions for, you hear me? But they got a detective sitting in a fucking office. But this motherfucker got the badge in his shirt, you hear me? Okay, he hit it. Yeah, so I don't, you know, he's just sitting there playing and something on his phone. So I'm thinking, this is somebody that working in the school, you know, like a secretary or something. So the the um security guard came in there, you hear me? So once the security guard came in there, he's like, man, empty your book sack out, empty, you know, your pockets and shit. I'm like, man, you just checked me coming through the door. Like, man, the security guard just got into it behind me not having a school shirt on, you hear me? 
So you know, like I said, it's a Friday. So I'm I'm wearing t-shirts on Fridays. I do what I want. So um, let me see what happened. Yeah, so she was like, um, you know, once they checked me and shit, all the polices came in there, but they was, you know, regular clothes, you hear me? So the lady was like, you know, um, she like, what's your name? And I tell her my name and shit. She was like, um, what you just getting to school? I'm like, yeah, you know, I had a doctor's appointment. I had, you know, I had broke my hand, whatever, you hear me? So she was like, um, she, she was telling me like she liked my shoes or something. She was like, man, stand <laughs> up, you hear me? I'm like, stand up for what? I just want to see something, you hear me? I'm talking about as soon as I stood up, she like, all right, you can sit down. The principal mm-hmm. like, man, you got your ID on you? I'm like, yeah, I got my ID. I gave him my school ID. He look at it like, yep. He like, boy, that's crazy. So they like, look, let me see stand up. Let me see something. I don't think that's him. I say, him what? To, yeah. As soon as I stood up, all the police grabbed me and handcuffed me. You hear me? Like, man, you under arrest for this, that, this, that, and about I'm talking about like 12 of them walked me out to school, you hear me? Okay. What was going through your mind at that moment? I was, I'm, I'm like, man, a principal set me up, you hear me? <laughs> Cause you held, if you knew they were looking for me, bitch, you held me in here for them to come, you hear me? So that's how I was looking at it. Like you, my mom and them partner, you probably at least let me know they coming so I could at least, you know. Take off room. Right, at least make a decision on what the fuck I need to do. Call my mom or somebody, you hear me? So, I felt like yeah, you said you set me up to get caught up by these people, yeah. So you get you you get caught up, you you get taken to jail. They they notify your mom. They they did they set you a bond and everything. I mean, you know, I went to juvenile, yeah. Like, yeah, because okay. you, know. you still yeah. uh, you still underage, right? I, I went to juvenile. I, once I got tried as an adult, like right, like a month later, yeah, I went. So to, they switched it over on you. Yeah, and they need put me in that dog court, you hear me? So they told you we gonna try, we, this gonna be tried as an adult. Right. You was how old? Seventeen. Oh, fifteen. No. You was fifteen. Yeah. Damn. Fifteen, 15 years old. Oh, fifteen. And they and they they because I, I know it happens. So they basically say you fifteen, but why did they give did they give a reason why they was trying you as an adult? I mean, I, I don't even know how that shit. Where I knew they were saying like if I I, I guess like. You know, murders, uh, robbery, rape, whatever. If you, you know, at a certain age, like some dealing with the teens and somebody trialing them as an adult, I I'm, I'm not really sure about it, but I know it's some shit like that. Yeah. So when you, when you, okay, so now from the time when you, and I, I'm not going to stay in it too long, but from the time of that time to you getting shipped off to uh, prison, how old were you when you actually went to, and was it Angola your first time? Yeah, I went to Angola. I was. What I was like twenty one, twenty two. So they that's when you first caught the case at fifteen. Yeah. And they kept you where? I was you- in Paris, all them years. How was that? See, I went to trial like I'm gonna say like after three years. They held you in there for three years. Like three years, time eight, eighteen, nineteen, something like that. They knew what they was doing. Then I went to trial. Once they convicted me. It took them bitches like I was in that bitch an extra three years just waiting to get sentenced, you hear me? Wow. Like I'm talking about every time I'm going to court, I'm going for sentences, setback, 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 setback for like almost three years. So you start learning to live with being locked up. Right. From the time 15, 16, 17. Right. And you just basically just in, pr- in jail. Right. You grew up. Really, your like like you could never get that time back. At all. Normal other children, other kids, uh, go to prom, go to go to high school uh, dances, all type of Man, different stuff. I ain't never even been to a prom or dance, none of none that. Of that Did stuff. you have a girlfriend at that time? Oh yeah, I was hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had girlfriends at that time. Yeah, I was him. He was getting it in for left. He was getting it in. He was getting it in. Yeah, so she didn't call you and be like, um, "I'm gonna hold you down." I mean, you know, a few people told me that, but that shit ain't that shit ain't last long. <laughs> that ain't last long at all. <laughs> at all. Like, you know, they, they stood around for a year, two, three years after that. It was a wrap, yeah. So so now you 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 get you get to be uh you grew up in really your your uh your your young adulthood and shifting into Angola. You go to Angola. What is it like the first day going to a prison like that? I mean, like my first day. So like, compared to to the county, but not not really just prison at, uh, on I mean, Angola. Really, this 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 it's got a reputation. But you're a young boy, so see, you ain't tripping. I wouldn't see like I I knew like 
from hearing all the stories and shit, you know, I had buku family that, you know, dead time and go like, you hear me? So my grandpa, you know, my uncles, cousins, and, wow. you know, so everybody always told me how I was, but, you know, I used to overlook that shit. Like, man, I'm out here. I'm not worrying about no fucking Angola, you hear me? Like, you know, they used to be telling me about the DAs and all type of shit, but I ain't care about that. I'm, like, I'm free. That shit ain't bothering me. I ain't bothering them, you hear me? It ain't gonna be you. Yeah, like I'm not. I know I'm. I know what I'm doing. You hear me? So what happened when you get off the? You get a bus. You I get, mean, once I got off the bus, I'm just. I mean, I'm. I mean, <laughs> dog, that shit was crazy. I'm talking about coming through that fucking front gate. That bitch like driving back into the eighteen hundreds. You hear me? I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking about. Look, you said buku fucking horses. You know, niggas riding horses like niggas on the on, on the road. Like doing all type of slave work, work. all type of shit. Like what color y'all wear? White. What else? We went on um, well, as far as what in Angola. What color the prisoners? The prisoners were? were. I mean blue. I mean blue. fucking Angola. Nigga, really, really well. What the fuck they want? Yeah. Really? really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, every prison normally do a certain color. I mean they do, but you know in Angola, nigga, feel like man, I got life, man. Fuck y'all. Yeah. yeah. Like that's just a nigga mentality. Yeah. Well, what I want? Like, see what you got on right now, nigga. Be walking in it, nigga. Be outside right now with the same shit you got nah, on. Nah. Uh. Yeah, it's serious. Wow! If I like, I I got to But it's uh, mainly only the lifers who do that. Man, that's everybody. the whole penitentiary, yeah. <laughs> the whole prison. Cause how much time did they sentence you to? Uh, life without parole. Life without parole. Yeah. At twenty years One, old, twenty-one. 21 yeah. Life without parole, and you going down here? Do you expect to be here today? Yeah, fuck. I'm talking about out on the ground. Yes. How? Because I always told, like, I never stressed about the time. You hear me? Like, like when I was just thinking about this shit, I'm like, dog, I really got life. Like, every day I'm waking up telling myself, man, you ain't going home, I got life. They, they say you ain't going home, you got life. It didn't sound right, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, if, if I got life, that means all this shit supposed to be happening. Everybody supposed to walk away from me. I don't put out nobody. I won't really feel it, you hear me? And I really went to praying for that shit, like, dog, like, Lord, if this really what it is, show me a sign, this is what it is. And them Ain't signs weren't coming, you hear me? So you could feel you was so coming. So I'm like, look, if 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 this just gonna be a chapter in my life, you hear me? All right, let it be. I'm ready to put this story together, you hear me? If I know this ain't my final destination, because if, if this my final destination, is I, I know it's a wrap, you hear me? All the good shit that went to taking place for me, even while I was in there, you hear me? I feel like it wasn't gonna be happening if that really why I was supposed to be at, you hear me? So you never That's went wild. through the stages of um, hey, you know, like when, especially when you know you didn't do nothing and you in the court and they give you that much time, you know, people like their stomach drop, they, like they, they can't believe it, they went in disbelief. I, mean, I was. All of that anger, I was, all of that sort of stuff. I was fucked up, like, uh, when I first heard, I'm like, oh. That, I mean, that can't be real. They just told me life. I'm like, boy, look, I was laughing in that bitch, you know? I see, man, this nigga playing with me, you hear me? He must be about to bring me back down here to resentence me or something, you hear Because <laughs> a life sentence, boy, that don't even sound right for me to have, you hear Do you watch the movie Life? Yeah, I watched that. <laughs> that's what that <laughs> reminded me of, because that that's what that was. I watched that, you hear me? And so, he got life. So you you basically, you get down here, and if and, and while you down here, you thinking, okay, how do you, how, do, how does, how does, how do you get out? All right, this is how I got out. See, like, after I got life, my the the witness on my case contacted my investigate my lawyer. And when he contacted my lawyer, he was like, man, look, while y'all doing this appeal, I got some information that I want, you know, I want to turn over to y'all. I want to do an affidavit for him, you know, to help him out. Mm -hmm. I'll write back So when they told me what it is They like man we going You know meet up with the uh, the witness and shit Like man you ain't intimidated I'm like man I ain't never talked to that man in a long time I tell that man nothing Fuck him you hear me I'm going through the process you hear me I'm like, Did well, you know he, the man? Yeah I, I knew who he was It was a nigga that was with me Okay So um He like man so look What we gonna do We gonna go up there Go see him and shit and see what he, you know, whatever he's saying, and we're gonna go from there. I'm not right back. So when they went and seen them, what he said was that um he was out on bond, you hear me? Like he, he went to jail on a burglary charge, and he got out on bond and he missed court. And some kind of way the DAs, you know, found a way to contact him because he was running them bitch like they can't contact him nonsense on the streets. He like, man, I don't want nothing to do with the case, you hear me? So 
Once they contact him, telling them, look, well, you know, his trial getting ready to come up. We need you to testify. And like, man, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. Like, well, look, if you don't want nothing to do with it, you already missed court on your case. You can go ahead and put the warrant out for your arrest. On top of that, charge you with the murder and shit that he on and shit that we got that we had to drop on him before we hear him. We're going to charge you with everything and just railroad you. That's like, what they told him. That's what they told him. And you're like, man, but only, you're like, we not going to do it only if you agree to cooperate with us, you hear me? Like, doing what? You're like, man, his trial coming up. This what we need you to say. Say this, say that. You're like, man, well, look, all right, if I got to do all that for y'all, you know, I got a fucking state lawyer, you hear me? Like, man, my lawyer not fighting for me or nothing. You hear me? Like, man, look, we're going to get your state. We're going to get your paid lawyer and everything. Once you get, go to the trial, get on the stand. Don't tell the people that we gave you no deal. We paid for no lawyer, none of that. You hear me? Just put all that on there. We're going to tell you everything to say. Don't tell them about nothing, and we're going to go from there. And he agreed to it. So that's how, you know, once, once he put all that shit on file, my lawyer wound up submitting an appeal and submitting that affidavit with all that shit in there. And I, I think he went and got some we we had some type of some type of paperwork that confirmed everything Dual was saying. Like, man, what law you went and got? He went and got say they gave him Robert Jenkins. On the day that I was supposed to start trial or the day before trial, it's showing on his own on his docket master that you he know, went and Robert the, Jenkins yeah. just enrolled at his council and all that, you hear me? So once he um once we submitted all that, you know, the DA wound up calling my lawyer, like, look, we about to set a court date for y'all to come back down, you hear me? So once I came back down, my lawyer was like, man, look, we got court. You know, this is before he like, man, we got court in the morning, you hear me? I'm like, man, look, bro, check this out. I'm not for going down there if it's just gonna be for a bogus ass yeah, ride, you hear me? Because all that just going out there looking and seeing shit, that shit stressful, you hear me? Knowing ain't no process about to go on. Somebody just go down there for nothing. You like me, I think it might be some good, you hear me? So when we go down there, we go see, you know, the victim mama, you know, his family and that shit, you know, um, the DAs, Canna Zero, all them in there, you hear me? So all them trying to talk to me, you hear me? So I'm like, man, I don't want to talk to no fucking DA, man. The fuck I look like, you hear me? So I'm like, I'm telling my lawyer, man, look, let me holler at you. I don't want to talk to them, you hear me? So we go in this room. They had a room like like a little conference room, you hear me? Had dude, mom, and them, all them in there. And they pretty much wanted me to just talk to the family, you hear me? Like, and try to make it seem like they was just trying to, due to the fact it was my best friend that got killed, they tried to make it seem like, Oh, we just gonna take his life sentence back and give him, you know, a, a, a day to go home and just try to bring the families back together, knowing that y'all was like family and it was friends. And the whole time you doing this to cover your ass up. Yeah, that's me? right. Cause they didn't want they didn't want to be looked at. It. They did right. made a mistake. So look, right after that, um, they like man, look, only if you if if his mom agreed to my plea. That they'll give me a plea deal. But the whole thing was they gonna give me a plea deal anyway, just so I don't uh, go just so I don't go through with my appeal. Cause if I was to go through with my appeal, all that gonna come out in the, the open. appeal gonna show everything that yeah. dude stated, everything y'all did, the corruption. Not only you gonna lose your fucking job, man, you got all type of shit coming around you. Lawsuits, you going to jail, everything, you hear me? So he was like, man, look, to avoid that, I'm like, man, I'm just gonna take the twenty five, at least fuck I can I see out there, I'm still young, boy, I want to go home. These people ain't, they don't give a fuck about if they got you right or wrong, yeah, you correct. They feel like, man, look, I just want somebody to go down for this, you me? So I'm like, man, I'm not about to be in this bitch for no life. So my lawyer was like, man, look, we can take the 25 years. Once we get the 25, we can try to work down the numbers, you me? I'm like, man, if I take 25 years, what I'm going to be doing? Like, man, like another eight years, you me? You've been out like seven, eight years, you me? Like, man, you going to do... Like 16 years, something like that. I'm like, all right, 65%, I'm right, I'm going to take that. Boom, I wind up signing for this shit. And once my lawyer was telling, you know, um, the DA, like, all right, well, since we did this, what y'all going to do about the media? Yeah, man, don't worry about the media. We're going to take care of the media, you hear me? So once the shit hit the media, it came out saying, like, like there was their first mediation case and all that, and they was just trying to bring two two families together. That they was they both suffered devocate, devastated losses and all that. Just you know, really just trying to. I'm like, man, that's bullshit. You, yeah. you already know, right? You know, I'm on it already. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But I'm like, man, look, since y'all did that, 
you gave me out there, I'm going to kind of let you bitches breathe, yeah? But once I got that rap sheet and shit wasn't adding up, I said, oh, no, it's time to put the facts out. Nah, you hear me? So when you put the facts out, how long was it before you was called back and they was able to release you? Man, let me see. I gave that time, bro. Look, I got sentenced to life March 10, 2016. I gave my time back in June of 2017. December 1st, I took 25 years. I want to say, like, November... Uh, 2019, 2008, let me see, 18, no, 19, 2019, I had five, I got another lawyer. My lawyer was on, mm. my lawyer misled me on a plea deal, yeah? Mm. Like, he was telling me, look, take the, you know, the, the 25, 25, and it's gonna be this, and, you know, when I got my rap sheet, that bitch was showing, I'm doing over 20 years, yeah? I'm like, this is not what the fuck I agreed to, nigga, like, what you doing? And... You know, we wind up filing some more shit. I got another lawyer. And they called me down and like, I filed this in like November 2019. By January 2020, you know, they granted the shit, but you know, the pandemic shit started. So that kind of had me on hold with the cases and all that, you hear me? So once court went to opening back up, I went to having a a couple of court dates going back and forth through the procedures and shit, you hear me? And once I went back down there, they like, man, they took everything back and resentenced me all over again. 14 years, credit for time served, you And I credit, went home. Credit like, for time served. Yeah. 14 years. So with that being said, after they do all of this and we know all of the riffraff and all of the uh, mishap that happened, are you able to uh, uh, file anything to, 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 to really fight back for what they done to you? I mean... You see what I'm saying? Honestly... I feel like this here, it ain't no, it ain't no win. Like, you know what I'm saying, it ain't gonna be no win. So you like, get, especially right they really now, done you know? wrong, right? No, I feel like at the end of the day, like you know, fuck it, I'm, it's over. I'm Cause, guilty. Cause you know? the, the kid who died, that was your friend. Yeah, that was my friend, partner, best yeah. friend. And yeah. and and who? That's not who, that's all who on the shirt. Nah, this this is my cousin. Okay, right. that's your cousin on the shirt. So no, on the shirt. This 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 BG Derrick right here. This Ladery here. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk about him in a minute. Yeah. But your best friend. Uh, he basically gets shot by somebody else. No. During, during the shootout, he gets shot off one of the bullets bouncing off something and hitting him. It could have been his or anybody. It, it was a bullet from my gun. Oh. Yeah. But it wasn't meant for him. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like, look, we, we both shooting. We shooting at the people and shit, and one of my bullets bounced off something. Like, it must have hit the wall of the concrete or something and hit him. Yeah. And... and when you didn't know this at the no, time, I ain't know at you all. thought it was somebody else that had done right. it. So they and, and that messed your head up too. Well, I, I didn't even know he was dead. Yeah? Like yeah, I ain't find out until like I really ain't knew until like the next day. Yeah? Wow. Like yeah, I ain't find out until the next day because I ain't believe the shit. Yeah? You so when you when you left, he was okay. Yeah, because like you know, we both was like, man, you know, I'm like, bitch, I'm gone. Let's go this way. This shit didn't even turn all right. He like, man, you just go, go, go. I'm like, I'm going this way. He like, man, you go. So he was talking and everything. Yeah, he talking to me, fucking right. So when we both going two different ways, where did he get hit at? In the chest, in the middle of his chest. In the chest. Yeah. So you didn't even know he was hit. Uh huh. Wow, man, how did that make you feel once you found out? Man, I was, I was, I was, I was kind of. I ain't even gonna say I was lost. I was speechless. Yeah. I was still trying to figure out why the fuck he went at. Like who? Cause if he was with me and that happened, I never seen them get shot. So ain't nobody got shot. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, where the fuck that happened at? Yeah. His Man, adrenaline who? was rushing, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? He didn't like show. we we both moving, yeah. We both hiding on side mm-hmm. trucks and shit. We both running two different ways, yeah. Wow. So I really was fucked up when I found out. Yeah. How long did it take you to even start just accepting the fact? And how long did it take you to find out that it was your bullet ricochet? See, once I'm gonna say once I went to jail, I went to jail. I'm talking. I was in jail like six months. Yeah, and I'm talking to my lawyer, and my lawyer was like, "Man, yeah, you know they got all the forensics and shit, whatever." Telling me how he died, he like man, he died from a ricochet. He like man, so whoever that, whoever had that gun, I say, so whoever. I'm like, what kind of gun he got hit with? You hear me? And once he told me, I'm like, well, fuck. I'm like, damn, how that happen? I'm, I'm, I'm the only nigga out there with that kind of gun. You hear me? I'm like, so 
What did he like, man? It wasn't no intentional kill. It was whoever had that gun or that caliber gun, one of the bullets hit something and bounced and hit him. Yeah. Wow. So that's how he died. I'm like, oh, all right. I'm like, man, fuck. That's all I was thinking. Like, damn, dog. You went back and they messed you up. I yeah, know they it fucked me up. Yeah. I know you ain't gonna talk about that part, but I know yeah, it messed yeah. you up because I've been there. You know what I mean? I, mean, I could talk about. No, it. No, I'm just as far as far as where how it hurt to be to to I mean, that because that's like, your friend. You know like what I mean? At the end of the day, I move forward from it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I still think about it and shit. But at the end of the day, I don't let that hinder me. Yeah. Because it wasn't purpose. Correct. Right. How does this family respond to you? <sighs> how you think? They, yeah. <laughs> still, because they look at it still they, your fault they, they look at it like they feel like this at the end of the day man you killed them yeah? right wow. like fuck all that like they not them people they don't like the shit all over the internet yeah? yeah like you could go read about that shit and everything everybody that used to be thinking this and that and I'm like no that's not what it is but I'm not, I ain't got time to be keep explaining you myself can't keep reliving it every yeah? day exactly so I'm like if you wanna go read about it go read about it People don't read, you know, they just, that's like if anything go on, a nigga go to jail, they just gonna automatic, man, look, dude in jail for the murder, but man, he did that, yeah, he down bad. You don't know what the fuck happened, man, New Orleans, no. you get picked up for anything, you know? well, I'm just glad you here, man, and, and, and you know, God forgives, bro, so. Right, that's and all your that your friend matters, know y'all, what y'all was doing together, man. I always say that at the end of the day, you know, I, I you know, I, I pray for myself, I pray for his family, but I still be like, man, y'all, y'all, however y'all feel, that's on y'all, yeah. yeah. Have you seen them since you got out? No, I don't want to see them. <laughs> no, but they're in New Orleans, you in New Orleans, and New Orleans ain't that big. I'm going to say this, just like this, now I regret nothing, you hear me? I don't want to see them, you hear me? Yeah. At all. See yeah. what I'm saying? When I try to reach out to y'all to, to really, you know, show some type of remorse, showing y'all how fucked up I was behind the shit, because in their head, they feel like, man, you intended to do that. If I intended to do that, he wasn't going to get hit by no fucking ricochet, you hear me? Yeah. See what I'm saying? So I'm like, dog, that was my partner. Like, my best friend, he at my house. You know, I'm washing his clothes. We going to school together. We eat together. We go shop together. All that. We do everything together, you So a question. At that night when, when that happened and you had the ricochet, but how close were you to him? When the shooting was going on? Because y'all shooting at somebody else. Man. So y'all must have been, like, really... We was side by side before the shit even started, you hear me? Okay. Once the shot, once the first two, three shots went off, we both, he went this way, I went that way, you hear Okay. Me? See what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. But we both ducking on side cars and shit and trying to run and get the fuck, you hear me? So what I'm assuming, maybe from us both running and both trying to shoot, that bitch probably bouncing and hit some. I don't know, you hear me? Yeah. But you see, you see, how I look on um, people are alive, especially, I'm not going to say because I don't know everybody's situation, but I know that God heals a lot of stuff. And when you have God in your life, you learn how to forgive right. the people that are around you that done you wrong or done, you think that they done you wrong. But people look for people to blame regardless of anything. So especially losing a child, you understand what I mean? I can't imagine losing my child to something like that. And yes, it's going to be a lot of mixed feeling because I'm going to be blaming my child, but I'm going to be blaming you because I'd be blaming like he shouldn't have been in that situation. Right. And but, that's, that's, that's the way his mama, see, look, like this, this, this. But he's gone it. and you're here. So you're but the only person that can blame. I look at it like this here. At the end of the day, we was together. Yeah? Right. It ain't like I just pulled up, jump out and, you know and forced saying? him to be there. We was, to, he was bigger than me. Yeah? I'm yeah. small. This, this a big old six, Six one two hundred some pound, you hear me? Yeah. So you bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't force you to do nothing. Not it was that. a decision that we made, you hear me? And it just so happened shit ain't go right. Man. But like I say, feel like towards his mom, I still love her. I still got number love and respect for her, you hear me? But I feel like when I was reaching out to you, it wasn't, I ain't give a fuck about if you was gonna help me get out of jail, you hear me? I just wanted you to know the real, you hear me? Yeah. Not with nobody telling you, not what people think. Not what he says, she says, I want you to know what I'm saying, you hear me? Because at the end of the day, you know me. What is your tags on you? Oh, that's Black Dan. That's my cousin, you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Let me ask you about just six years in Angola. That's how long you did? Six and a half. Six and a half years is a long time, man. Like, so So you did time with C Murder? Yeah. How was that? I mean, it was, it was good, you know. We was I mean, just like, like is he the, how long did you do with him and how often did you see him? I used to see C Murder damn near every day. For how long? 
Man, as long as I want, really. You know, when we outside, you know, we when they open them doors up to go in the yard, you know, that's pretty much like you outside. But did y'all had did y'all have long conversations or it was just man, you seen the nigga? Conversation, man, see you the smoke together, go ball, play basketball, everything. Like, yeah, like what was the what's the one thing that you remember that you and him talked about? We was in a hole and we were talking about music. And um I was just rapping some shit for him. He was just telling me how, you know, just how to how I used to be in the studio and how when niggas would be in the studio and nigga call him and be like, you know, Slim trying to get in, man, like put everybody out. You know, he used to tell me about all type of shit. You know, I used to always keep it about music shit because that's, that's all I wanted to hear Correct. about. Like, for all the street shit, killing and all that, I'm like, man, I come from all I don't want to hear all that shit. That shit don't move me, yeah. Yeah, but you just wanted to hear about man, the music. Right. And, and was it anything detailed in the music that... that Stuck with you as well, like anything that he said. I mean, far as he like, when you're in the studio, he like, man, just, 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 just go in there. Don't think about when I get in that bitch, I gotta make a hit, man. Just go in there, just however you feeling, put it down. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying, don't be worrying about. Oh, you might be feeling stressed out, probably thinking about fucking having mental thoughts or whatever. Yeah. Some people feel I don't want to rap like that. It's embarrassing. I don't want nobody to think I'm crazy. I'm like, oh, fuck that. Put that down, yeah? Mm. That might be your big hit right there, yeah? Yeah. So, he used to always be talking to me about a lot of shit. Like, did you did you ever hear him? Uh, did as far as visitation? Did you ever? Did you guys hear of who was visiting him at, during the time? Yeah, because y'all all was down there. I mean, you would know it was was P visiting mom. I mean, everybody visiting. know his mama P. You know, fuck. Um, when they would come, y'all would know it. It would have to be something to where people. I mean, would talk you know, of. yeah, you know, people. That's that's in Golan. Exactly. Golan, like everybody talk. Yeah. So who did you, you remember him getting any visitations? Any. I mean, I never was at visit with him, you know? Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? But I know I who used to be coming see him and shit. I didn't, he didn't show me pictures and shit. So, yeah, I, it's buku people you to come yeah, see I'll him. Come see yeah, I'll come see him. The only reason I asked that is because I, I remember talking with uh, Lil Soldier Slim and he was saying when he went to see, uh, and they was at a different unit, though. Yeah, that was when, at Hunt's. He was at Hunt's, he but he was saying when he went to Hunt's, he seen Mac and and he seen uh yeah, that was C at, at the same time. That was at Hunts. So they didn't do that at Angola. Yeah, that was Mac went in Angola. Mac was at yeah, Hunts. But I'm saying the way they visitation, did everybody go to visit or did you ever have visitation? Yeah, fucking right. So when you had visitation, would you see other inmates that was yeah, visiting? You know, everybody okay. go to visit together. Yeah, it's just, you know, certain parts of the prison, you hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like everybody got the, you know, Certain sections are well. Certain people go at you. What would you say was the hardest part about being in Angola? Oh, the hardest part. I ain't gonna lie. Like working in that fucking field. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh it ain't man. <laughs> <laughs> For oh, free, I'm right? About, dog, that fucking woke man. I'm talking, dog. Them people used to call a truck for me, damn near. What stuff do you used to have to do in the field? Now you you picking for food, like you got creeks and you picking vegetables, greens, okay. you know, uh, potatoes, lettuce. For corn. how long? How long in a day? Eight hours? Man, you you gotta get up like let me see. You gotta get up like around. They gonna call work call about six in the morning, six thirty. You, you gotta be at that gate by seven. See, by 7, 7.30, they leaving out. 8 o'clock, they leaving out. They ain't coming back in to probably about 10.30, 11 o'clock. Yeah. How many night? people? How many? No, in the morning. Oh. How many people? Man, that bitch be like at least 150 people. You're, that yeah. bitch be big. Yeah. And everybody, when y'all get back, you have to get take all your clothes Man, off. And I'm you talking gotta, about, for real. It be about, though, I'm talking about it be at least 20, 30, 40, 50 niggas trying to bum rush the shower at yeah, one time. Yeah, but nigga, everybody. I know they it. like, boy, I'm trying to get in here, boy. Like, I got called out and everything. I ain't going back out there. <laughs> Fuck that field. Say, man, you trying to get another type job what? that damn field. Man, see. So, be, I stopped going in the field. I told you, the people, you wouldn't go? Fuck y'all, man. Y'all gonna have to put me on lockdown. It's over with. BTY Youngin, man. How did you link with him? I met Youngin in the parish, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I was on um, I was on the juvenile tip and niggas used to be always, you know, talking about him and shit. Rapping his songs and shit. Niggas like, man, boy, if you ever meet that boy, I'm talking about saying that boy cool, so you out of him. You know, I was in jail, you know, when I first heard about it. I was in jail probably like like three years around the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wound up going to court one time and he had a fight, yeah. Uh, he was just at, yeah, he had a fight on the docks. And um they were trying to jump him, whatever, yeah. And I'm like, man, you know, once I heard a nigga say that's dude, 
I'm like, man, I ain't about to let a nigga fuck with that like that, you hear me? So I go to like, hold up, like, you know, trying to break this shit up, you hear me? Nigga like, boy, watch out, boy, that's where I be. Man, the fuck where I be, man. You ain't even beef with nobody, you hear me? But you just a won't be down type nigga, you hear me? So, um, dude, young just looking like, I'm like, what's up? You straight? He like, yeah, what's up? Like, I'm trying to fuck with him, you hear me? Yeah, that's so, hard. I'm like, man, look, I'm like, man, I'm fucking with you. I'm like, man, look, whatever it is, I'm with you, you hear me? He like, all right. So the people came like, man, look, get them, put them in a back tank, you hear me? The ones that were fighting. He like, you, come on, murder, you come on too. I'm like, come on, what? I ain't going no, I ain't had no fight. Like, yeah, you want them, come on. They wind up putting us in a back tank, whatever, boom. We wind up talking. You're my, you know, he told me who he was. I told him who I was. I'm like, Pachari, you be spitting and shit. He like, yeah. Ooh. I'm like, yeah, me too. I go to rapping for me. Go to rapping for me. After that, we just went to talking. Hear me? What rap did you do that day? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I don't yeah, even know, yeah, dog. Nigga, that's, that's what, what I thought, long, nigga. You ain't really on it like that. Ooh. You both remember that, nigga. You a young nigga. You man. supposed to come with it. When I, I say that, you both be I like, ran well, it was a, I talked about that. I let I that nigga. I ran so much shit to him, but you know, I'm, I, I still remember all that shit, you know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> remember it like an elephant. Stop playing, you know? For sure, for so, sure. So is that how you met GDP or, or, or what? Yeah, that's how I met I met GD through young, you know? so How was that? How did, how did that happen? Man, Young was writing a song, you hear me? So I'm sitting there beating on the table and shit. Young like, bitch, I'm about to get on the phone. I'm about to call a manager, you hear me? Like, Jeter wound up sending them some pictures and shit. Okay. So he's showing me the pictures and shit. He like, man, yeah, that boy beat me a Twitter. And, um, you know, he he he, he handing the business for me. This nigga getting fan mail and everything, you hear me? Wow. So they had a little bitch that wrote him. You know, she writing, put money on the phone, whatever. He like, man, I'm about to call G there. I'm like, yeah, man, I want to holler at that boy. You got to put me in the door with that boy, you hear me? He like, bitch, I got you. So he wound up calling G there. When he called G there, they running it, whatever. He like, man, look, you know, my little son J. Murder, I want you to hear him spit, you hear me? G like, all right, bet. Get on the phone with G there, they really don't want to hear that shit, you <laughs> hear <laughs> Look, I'm like, man, what's up, dog? G like, what's up, what's up, bro? I'm like, man, look, say, bro, you know, look, man, I'm, I'm Jay Bird, bro, I wanted to run something. I'm like, all right, what's up, what's up? I'm like, look, though, I'm like, look, I wanted you to see, you know, I want you to check me. I'm like, all right, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm looking at Young, like, man, this nigga, the fuck wrong with dude, you yeah. I'm like, man, what the fuck wrong with dude? like, man, just spit, you hear me? So I went to rapping for him, you hear me? And after I went to rapping for him, G was like, man, that nigga, I'm fucking with him, you hear me? Like, man, what your name is again? I'm like, I got that nigga now, nah, Young. I'm like, that bitch talking now. Nah, at first, he didn't want to talk, you hear me? <laughs> I'm like, I got him now, you hear me? Yeah, that's yeah, good, that's, that's man. That's how I met Jeter, though. So how, has, it, has it been everything that you uh, envisioned since you came out and, and, and Jeter started managing you? Like, is it what you... I mean, right now, this is just the beginning. Like, Correct. the shit that I didn't see, it ain't even start yet, you mm -hmm, We mm -hmm. just, right now, we just... Like, I didn't already made my own blueprint, you know? Yeah. Jeter got his, got his shit, and we just putting our shit together and just making a move, you know? Wow, I like that, man. Yeah. The fact that, you know, that, that you know, God sometimes put things together we can't even explain, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you never, you you wouldn't have never thought that they just were rapping with him, you'd be working with him now. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. You know what I'm saying? You don't know right. if you're going to make it from one day to the next, actually. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Terrence Gangster William <laughs> <laughs> saying Boosie was on PC in Angola. Man, that man was, was in that the, true or, man, or what? Listen, I wasn't in Angola when Boosie was in there. Okay, but you know yeah. the stories now. You know the you walls know, and, and, and Angola niggas say all type of shit. Yeah, was he, shit was no. Boosie on? What, what was he? What was up? I don't. I don't know. And if he was, I mean, fuck, that's his been. I don't know because I wasn't there. I can't say. Yeah. I wasn't up there when Boosie was up there. What do you think about like this Terrence guy? Because he's he's ripping across the internet right now with the fact of his reputation being that you know what he done to get out. Is that a thing that they give you an option to do? I wouldn't have never even thought that. What option? As far as to tell on the dead or whatever. Man, son, check this out. Check this out, bro. That man, he been in the game long enough to know right from wrong, man. He know he 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 know that's a no no. But fuck, he cool with it. 
be cool with it. That's on him. Yeah, I ain't got shit to do with Merc. Yeah, my mom this way, style my way, and we good like that. Yeah, he know that shit wasn't right, man. How did y'all look at people that would talk on people when they would be in? If they locked up, that's a no no. You can't even be around there, right? man. If 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 no, oh, check this out. CNN, I'm gonna be honest. CNN goal, you forced to be around them type of people. Wow. Yeah. But niggas got their own circles. Yeah. Like, if you wanted them, yeah, we not fucking with you. I know, man, my partner, we ain't fucking with you at all. I don't give a fuck who you is. Wow. Like, that's that's just how we moving, you know? Yeah, yeah. Did you have any fights in prison? I mean, I had a few fights. You know, that's prison. Give me, give me a, I do a thing called prison confessions. Give me something to give me a, in de, in, a, a detailed story on uh, one of the things that happened in that one of the fights that broke out. But you got to think now, huh? Cause you was in there causing all kind of hell. No, I wasn't. Yes, you was. I, I, yes, you I, I, I wasn't no problem. You young, young, young. You young. You young. Man, I was you young. Man, I'm, man, I'm big hustling, trapping, trying to get money and get the <laughs> so fuck out of there. Tell me, give me, give me answers though. I mean, I see this one fight I ain't gonna never forget. I had a fight with this old nigga. Been down about thirty some years. A nigga knocked me out. Woo. I'm talking about dog. And nigga Did you get back. anything on the nigga? What did oof. the nigga just wasn't stopping? Man, when I shook back, man, the boy, I thought that was the worst thing he should have did. Let me shake back. I so you came. To, you, I, I, it, what do you that, mean you shook back? What you mean I shook back? I I I, I shook back. I got right here. This nigga hit me in my face with a fucking mop stick. That oh. bitch broke on my face. Yeah. Mm. That's how I get this skull with my nose. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking about that bitch broke on me, knocked me flat out. You go to running up the tilt, like, yeah, I fucked him up. I'm out of show all them young niggas how I'm coming. I've been up here 33 years. And all I'm telling my little partner, I'm like, I'm looking at him, but I'm paralyzed for like five minutes, you hear me? I'm like, let me, I'm like, bitch. I'm like, bitch, just shake me back, you hear me? <laughs> but he looking at me like, bitch, what you saying? I'm like, bitch, I know you hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, man, shake me back. And I'm getting loud and loud, but he's just looking like, what you trying to tell me? What you saying? It wasn't coming out right. I'm like, man, I'm saying, I'm like, I know you hear what the fuck I'm saying. I'm looking dead at him like, dog, come on, son, don't play with me right now, son. But the whole time, I'm not talking clear. I'm like, son, son, son. But I'm thinking, I'm telling them, boys, hurry up, you hear me? See, once he shook me back, man, it was over with. I said, man, me get up. I'm like, what a pee back? He like, man, he gone. Boy, I come down and just swinging the stick out and knock the stick out of his hand. I try to, boy, I try to fuck him up after that. Man, man. punched all the teeth out of his mouth. <laughs> I said, bitch, I'll kill you in here, bitch. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to lose. Boy, I said, boy, they gave all this time back and let a nigga kill me. <laughs> I'm out mad as a motherfucker. What's up with Telly Hankton? What is that? I mean, Telly, cool, tell a cool nigga. Tell it quiet, do you? Yeah, tell it, tell it, live. Tell it, just work out all day. Mm. Hey, cool yeah. on, nigga. And, and, and you just you just in there just young though. I just asked you about these stories because to be a young man in there, you know, that's that, that's crazy, you know, because you really was in a mind state where you 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 didn't see nothing but the fact of I've been locked up, I got to deal with this situation, and ain't nothing I can do to change my situation man, just yet. I ain't lying though. Like I came to jail at fifteen. <clears throat> I was a little boy. I was doing shit, but. You know, for as thinking wise, I was kind of mature, but I was a little boy, you hear? Like, I learned how to be a man in prison, like in jail, you hear? Know what I'm saying? Like, for as I've been standing up on my own, you hear? Know what I'm saying? But for as, you know, being around them older dudes, them Vicks and all that, yeah, them dudes showing me shit, because I used to, you know, I used to be reckless, you hear? Know like, when they go to saying shit and I feel like I don't understand what you're saying, I'm tripping. Like, what you trying to tell me? I feel like you playing mind games with me. Like, nigga, you better. Fuck you talking about, man? Like I, I went doing all that because I was all I thought about was man, this ain't Gola. <laughs> but they play all kind of games in this bitch. I ain't about to let the nigga get me, you hear me? Mm -hmm. So when you speaking, you need to speak like to where I can understand what you asking me, you hear me? Don't try to go with my head and shit, you hear me? For real. So during all this time, okay, I hear you talk about, you know, going to prison, doing all of that. But when did you start doing music? How old were you? Man, I grew up around music. Mm -hmm. Like I was, I've been doing music. I've been rapping. I've been knowing how to rap all my life. Yeah. You said all your life. How old? All my life. I'm talking about. You from, can't say all your life all now. My, from one year old. I'm talking about little. I was cutting a umbilical cord. I was, <laughs> look, I was making raps. You hear me? No, what? but look, um, I want to say like, like around eight years old, nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like 
Who was your favorite rapper though Growing up Yeah who influenced you I used to be listening to Jada Kiss Jada Kiss Yeah That's my That's my nigga Like me and him met a few times That's my How do I feel about that kid Do you like He on the wall baby Say I I'm a Jada Kiss fan I fuck with Kiss I rock with the nigga for real No I ain't never met him Not in person I done met him nigga He cool as hell I done hollered him a few times On social media Yeah Yeah so you started, so when did you start, like, actually, because, you know, when you start dibbling and dabbling when you first start, but when did you start taking it serious and saying? Once I, once I went to jail. Like, mm, so I Because you was in jail rapping? Yeah. Like, see, th- how I started in jail, like, they had, a, they had buku niggas in jail used to be Everybody rapping. Everybody be rapping, So, you know, yeah. niggas beating on the table, side right. man shit. I'm like, yeah, I fuck with that. I'm about to go jump in the cypher, you hear me? So, a nigga was like, man. This nigga, man, this nigga too cold. He probably be biting that shit. I don't think that's him, man. Dude, like, man, I'm about to write a hook. Go we'll right to this. And I went road to it. I'm like, come on. Ran my shit. He like, man, this nigga really cold for real. Mm. This really him, you hear me? So after that, he like, everybody just went to tell me, man, you got to start rapping, son. You, like, you, go, you really cold. I'm like, I, don't be, I just know how to fuck with it. After a while, I went to watching 106 and seeing a freestyle Fridays and shit. I'm like, I'm about to start fuck with it, you hear me? Start fucking with it. Like, wow. After that, I just started writing every day. Like, every day, I got a new song for, you know, at, at night when we locking down. Yeah, I'm about to be the one beating. I got a brand new song I'm about to drop tonight, mm-hmm. you hear me? So, yeah, I was 106 in Park at night, you hear me? Did y'all do <laughs> concerts over there? Because I know somebody sent us the other day that some wardens be allowing them to do concerts at the prisons. Yeah, they, yeah, they was doing all type of shit in Angola. Yeah. Did you perform? I mean, no, I ain't never did no concert up there. You know, we used to be doing open mics and shit, like in the shade and on the yard and shit. I'd be out there rapping and shit. But other than that, man, I was recording on my phone, making videos. You know? well, well, give me some about Boss B. <laughs> give me the story. Uh, let me t- let's talk about Boss B for a minute. All right. Talk to me. Let me know what's up with you in here. Boss, that's my son. That's my dog. You, yeah. yeah, that's that's gang. That's bro for sure. That's my Muslim brother as well. Really? Yeah. So when did you start practicing Muslim like, faith? I, like eight years ago. Wow. So you and him became tight through that. Now we became tight through Jida. Like when I first met Jida, like started talking to Jida. Jida was telling me his brother in Angola. Like, wow. Man, you know, you know, dude, Jay Murray gonna be coming up there, whatever. And dude went to write me. You hear me? So we were writing each other back and forth before we even knew who each other was. Wow. But once I got up there, that's when I had met him, yeah. Like, you know, I ran into him coming out the education building with my people and shit, yeah. Wow. That's 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 hard. Who's and and so who is your favorite artist from Louisiana? Because I'm finna play a Louisiana beat, so it gotta be one of the ones from back in the days. Come on, man, you know that. Who is it? Soldier Slim, man. Stop. Oh, playing, I gotta find man. what's the favorite beat? I gotta find that Come beat. On, man. Which one? Any one of them, it don't matter. Let me see which one I can get. Right. Let's go, man. Boss Talk 101. Mm-hmm. Let's get to it. You know, J. Murray, right, nigga. From what I was told, I be that nigga, been that nigga, that same nigga that I bust your shit wide open. I've been told I'm the hardest, no, I'm the illest in my city. Let's go. Ask a nigga about J. Murray, the realest ever did it. From what I was told, I be that nigga, been that nigga, that same nigga that I bust your shit wide open. I've been told I'm the hardest, no, I'm the illest in my city. Ask a nigga about J. Murray, the realest ever did it. My little dog and my little dog no more, so I stay my distance. With trial for that murder, convicted, called a life sentence. Let me chosen in that prison when Rick had turned to my witness on that mission. We were trying to end up in this I can't believe he told Thought he was trailer Till I seen him fold I know some killers Went against the cold I never sell my soul Forever law You the movement No one with it You could get it From the streets To the bank I'm a G When I'm hopping Out the foreign Different places I be touring Put that on my Uncle Lawrence For Black Dan I'm gon' wild out Ever catch your killers On sight he gon' get shot down Mac 90 in that black mind And shut his block down Them chopper clips Like bananas My young ain't now Bustin' hammers Got niggas that's out The gimmick I'm dipping, I keep it with me Just put a drum on my glitch Draco look like a midget, respect it, a check it, you disrespect me, you come up missing that pay by, gotta get it and run up these M's, trying to pay all these bills, swear my life is too real, I'm trying to change a nigga tired of sinning, you started lagging in your bag, once you got it like you tired of winning, mama told me she just want a house about the hood, I told her my I ran it up, we made it out for good, no more can guns, no living off section 8, but I promise we gonna be straight and you know that we gonna be great, man, oh love, man, I can't let it go no more, man, okay. this boy's sick, man. 
man. Nah. Shout out, man. You know, man, man. I P that boy soldier slim, one of them real ones, man. Appreciate right, that love, man. That's a D, man. Slim. So, man, that, that's what I'm saying. How you feel when you go down through there like that, man? <sighs> That's I be hard. feeling good, dog. Cause I <laughs> look, I know for sure I'm going out with one of the greats, you hear me? <laughs> man. I'm so going man, out with one of the greats. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive, man. Oh man, I got number five. one. I no, only kid. three. Only three. Man, I got Pop. Okay. Any genre. Jada Kiss. Meek Mills, man. Dang, Meek Mills? Yeah. You know, you been, I just interviewed with Lil Snoop Mama. I've been running through with that series. Yeah, that's my top three. Man. man. So did you ever listen to Lil Snoop? You was, never was really you younger? Had, that was yeah, you was Snoop locked was young, up. But you know, I was in jail though. I you heard, were I heard up. a few. You know what? Yeah, I wouldn't really own them though. Yeah, because you you yeah. kind of hard to be when you going through a <laughs> choke <two parts>, right? <laughs> Say, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you if they trying to look, you know link up with you on a feature or something? I mean, they got to hit me on the ground, man. J Merk 7 J A Y M U R K K zero zero seven. Man, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love, man. Appreciate Louisiana, man. I love the culture, man. Love you guys, man. Mm. And hey, man, thank God you home, bro. Yeah. I just love to see my brothers home, man. You made it. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you don't do nothing else, you here with me, man, and, and that's a blessing, bro. That part. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we have.